Hey guys, I want to show you a real quick birdhouse I made literally in 10 minutes with uh, just scraps of uh, wood that are laying around the garage and some hardware that I picked up at the dollar store. And it's not so much a show and tell on the birdhouse, but why I build them and why I put them up on my property. Now, as someone who kind of practices wilderness survival, bushcraft, hunting, you know, I do a lot of backpacking and all that, I'm often taking from nature. I'm using the things that nature puts out there in order to, you know, for my own enjoyment, for my own practice, for, for these things that I enjoy and love doing. And you don't think about it when you're out there doing it that when you cut up or take down standing dead wood that you might be destroying habitat for some animals or bugs or other things in the environment. So I like to give back in a way that I can where I can, which is my property. So I've kind of over the past you know year and a half that I've lived here have been kind of slowly transforming this place into like a wildlife sanctuary. I mean not only because I, I appreciate things and, and appreciate all life but it is my way of giving back because over the years you know how many standing dead trees I've taken down, how many plants I've used to make cordage and things like that over the years you know I feel like I've destroyed a lot and it's time to give back. So I slapped this thing together. It's like the simplest design you can make, guys. It's literally just get yourself some uh, 1x4. It doesn't have to be 1x4. You could use 2x4s. You could use 2x6s, 2x8s, 2x10s, whatever you can cut down easy. I literally just cut them at an angle like that to make a uh, roof. You know, drilled a little hole, pounded a little dowel in there, cut a, I think it's a one and a quarter inch hole in the front. So this is for smaller birds. A little bit of an overhang here, you see. And then uh, the roof is nothing special. I know a lot of people don't build these things because kind of feel like it's going to be difficult. Guys, I'm by no means an expert, and I'm very impatient and tend to do things like this quick and, and dirty. But uh, you can see what I did for the roof is I literally just kind of angled them and then have it held together with a hinge so that you can access inside to clean it out every spring. So how it holds is literally friction because uh, as you can see, it kind of holds like that. There's a bit of a gap there and I'm going to seal that up probably with some kind of uh, glue or something like that so it fits a little tighter down there. But that's only because I did it quickly. But if you do something like that guys, it's not the end of the world because um, these things, they do need some ventilation birds you know these things get really hot and so having a little gap along the top and along the roof is not a big deal because it will help with ventilation for the birds and no problem there at all so how this is done is literally I just took some finishing nails and hammered this together real quick with some finishing nails and then I put a couple uh, just drove a couple of uh, wood screws into the roof here to help it sit a little more even because it was as you can see this woods all kind of bowed and uh, it wasn't very good. These are just kind of junky end pieces that have been sitting around. This one here's got a crack in it. So I uh, did screw it in in a couple places just to help flatten it out a little bit because it was bowed so much. But the rest is just all finishing nails and a, uh, a very simple uh, dollar store hinge. This thing took me about five minutes to uh, maybe like ten minutes to slap together. You know, five, ten minutes of cutting wood, maybe twenty minutes and it literally cost me a dollar store hinge. And uh, I'm gonna hang this up today. Oh, I'm probably gonna throw a little like uh, linseed oil or something like that to, to protect it a little bit on the outside. And I'm gonna hang this uh, bad boy up and this will be home for, uh, this will be home for somebody on the property. This is kind of my way of giving back. And, and I hope that hopefully you guys, uh, if you watch this video, it encourages you to kind of give back as well. Cause we do take a lot from the environment and you know you will appreciate it when you give back and you can do these things and see that you're providing habitat for animals and it doesn't have to be birds i know some people think birds are absolute pests but you can make you know the mason bee houses butterfly houses uh you name it there's any interest that you may have just creating that habitat for for one creature is kind of helping out and helping out when when as a society we're literally just destroying all this place where these animals have to live so if you can take your little bit of property no matter how big or how small and help out it's good to do that when you know especially if you're a person like me who hunts who fishes who 
who camps and hikes and does all that and takes so much. It's, it really is nice to give back. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, hopefully it inspires you guys to come up with your own little homestead projects to give back.